Hello guys, this is Matt with Comax Gaming and welcome to another Source Mod tutorial. So today what we're actually going to do is communicate two plugins. Now what this means is we are going to be able to like from a plugin ask another plugin some information we cannot access. For example, we have a plugin that contains uh, player information. For example, I don't know the name, um, whatever. Credits, maybe points, and for some reason we cannot access that data um, because we are not coding in the same environment as that plugin. Like, we are not coding in the same file or in the same workspace as that plugin. Or, what? Yeah, workspace that that plugin has been coded in, whatever. You get the point. So, um, to do this, I'm gonna teach you the easiest way, uh, which is using actually commands. Um, it is safe, don't worry, so you're not gonna get into any kind of hacky trouble. Um, and, yeah, the other way is actually, if you have the source code of that file, what you can do is actually include .sp files. That way, you can code your own plugin maybe in in a whole different source pound file, but then incorporate that file in a stronger plugin. Now that may not might be kind of confusing, so I'm going to do the tutorial first with the other way, and then you're going to get everything. So yeah, don't worry. So um, we're going to start with the usual stuff public unplug and start god damn it and um, <coughs> here we this is gonna be the main plugin so we're gonna have a static uh, points and um, yeah whatever I don't wanna have that so we're have a we're gonna have a static points which is gonna be an array of 32 integers uh, which is gonna be a number for each client which we're gonna define in a second so we are gonna initialize this variable or this array rather um, with minus one so comma dot 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 means um, fill all the the array spaces all the values with minus one or whatever you put in here 255 yeah you get the point um, so on plugin start what we want to do is for now nothing but we're gonna do public on plugin, no, but what? On client put in server. So, client, of course. And we are gonna initialize points in um, uh, client, of course. Bleh. Equals 10. Whatever, you know, random number. Actually, random, get random number. Get random integer. The minimum is gonna be zero and the maximum is gonna be, I don't know, 100. So, yeah, we're going to get a random number um, each time we connect, so we're going to have a different point. Um, so, the point of this is we're going to have another plugin, which is going to be completely empty. So, let me copy this information to here. Um, and this is a completely different plugin. It does not have any kind of... Um, permissions to access this code right here since it's a whole different file a whole different plugin a whole different uh, workspace but what we want to do is from this plugin access the credits or the points from this plugin so how do we do this how we do we get this plugin to access that information well it's actually pretty easy what we have to do is hold on for a second sorry about that what we have to do is um, rig some some CMDs, but how? We're not going to use um, console CMDs because that's way too dangerous. So unplug and start. I cannot type today. Great. Unplug and start. And here, since this is the plugin that is going to ask, we want to rig cons server CMD. And you want to name it something like I don't know your plugin name so this is gonna be the second plugin so sp underscore request underscore points 
and no. and here callback just call request this is the basic stuff and uh, finally public action callback underscore request arguments since this is a console well a server CMD we don't have a client that's why this structure is completely different um, the callback request is gonna have um, hmm, since we're requesting from here we are just gonna send a client so this is gonna be just very simple which is gonna be server command and first plugin FP not fast no FP um, underscore send points and here we want to send our client now how do we do this since we don't we don't have um, this um, first of all we have to find the client so to send the points imagine we have I don't know um, a super function that is gonna allow us to send this information for example I don't know for example we have a, another command that is gonna um, um, that is gonna allow us to insert this client so just to make it simple we're just gonna make it target finder so um, we're gonna make a new argument so new arg um, new string arg1 and um, get cmd arg1 one, arg1 one and 32 yes you can do size off I'm not gonna do size off what Where's my thank you um, and now since we got the argument we're gonna do new target equals target find find target find target client is gonna be the one who requests this which is zero um, I don't know if this is gonna work actually hmm so just for the sake of the tutorial we are gonna change this to reg um, admin cmd yeah yeah um ADM in flag underscore uh, root. Um, so yeah, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just gonna add a client because we don't want to have a whole bunch of different uh, um, commands. So because you're not gonna use this in these kind of situations, believe me. Um, but if you do, you're gonna ha you're gonna have to make two different commands: one to find the client, and the other one to actually request the data. Just for security reasons, you don't wanna. Um, um, do anything bad. So, if args is less than one, return plugin handle. Otherwise, we're gonna have a bunch of errors coming around. I don't want that. Target is gonna be arg1. Um, no bots, true, false. And um, no bots is obviously to not target bots and um. Um, immunity is to if it's uh, if this is set to true, then it's gonna count the immunity set for each admin, and if it's set to false, then it's gonna ignore it, so you can target anyone in the server. So if target equals minus one, which means uh, we couldn't find the client, we're not gonna send any messages because you probably should know how to do that. Not by now. If you don't, then go check my all tutorials because that's definitely there so we want to send the points from target um, target is gonna be a, a client now since we did a find target which finds a client and stores that client inside this variable so we are doing a command fp underscore send points percent d target so right here, what we're gonna do is request, actually send the data. How? Well, reg server cmd first plugin send points callback send. We're gonna do very simple stuff here, and you know what? <laughs> Let's go for the easy one. Copy paste remove. 
Why do we remove the client? Well, because this is a server CMD, not a client server CMD. Therefore, we don't have any client. Um, so since we call this command from this plugin and we send an argument, which is the target or the client, we need to do new, and we are gonna copy and paste that as well. Sorry, guys. <laughs> is easier <laughs> remove blah 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 and we want to do new client equals string to int to int r1 so you're probably wondering why we didn't check like we did here if args is less than one well because this command sh should be like only known by you by you you, you shouldn't give this to anyone um, this should be only part of the plugin and not accessible by anyone else. In this case, it is going to be because, well, it's an admin CMD, so you need to give it away. But if you're going to do this the, in the right way, you should reg a CMD to get the client, like we did here, and then another one to actually send the command. So, yeah, I just did everything in one because I don't have that much time to, to do everything. So yeah, we get the client from here, from this callback, which is the argument 1, we change it to an integer to actually use it, and what we're going to do is, in this callback, we are going to do server command, this is full of server commands, get ready, second plugin, receive, underscore, points, and here we need to send two arguments, the first one is going to be the client, and the second one is going to be the points. Because we don't know which plugin own, owns that those points, um, so yeah, we're gonna send the client and then the point client return plugin handle as always. Otherwise, it's gonna throw an error. I wouldn't want that. Um, on plugin put in server. So now here <laughs> we need to make a server cmd <laughs> reg server cmd um and we need to copy and paste this just in case we don't want to make any errors receive remove this uh call back receive and remove this since it's server and we need to return plugin handle great so now that we have this we need to retrieve the arguments so as you saw two seconds ago we are sending two not one but two um, I'm changing this because since it's a client it's just a small number not that big um, we are sending two arguments here so we need to receive two arguments as well in this function so argument 2 arg2 10 no, actually, this is going to be like, I don't know, 100, no, maybe 1,000, since um, it's going to be the point. So, just to show you guys, uh, so you don't get confused, I'm going to declare a client and convert everything right now. String to int, like 1, and new points equals string to int, to int r2 and that is all that that's like literally all so we're gonna print to server or whatever I don't know um, we're gonna do client percent D point R percent D client and point that's it guys that's like literally it let me go through this again. We have the main plugin, which is going to have the points, which we cannot access from this plugin. Now, this might be a plugin you got from the internet and you want to edit it, but you don't want to edit the original code a lot. So you make your own plugin to work with that. So we need a s we need a way from this plugin to request this points. How? Well, very simple. We're gonna need two commands. The first one is gonna send the data to this plugin 
that it needs to actually send it. So what does this plugin need to send the points? Well, a client, because we have w um, points for each client. Therefore, we are doing that over here. As you can see, we reg an admin CMD, which requests an argument. So we declare the argument and we find the target. Find target is going to find the client, which is going to be stored in the target. And then it's going to do a server command, which is fp send points, and we send the target as an argument. Now, if you check fp send points, we're going to find it here, which is a server CMD in the main plugin. We have a callback. This callback is going to have an argument as well because we send one here, so we need to receive it here. We have an argument, which is one, and that argument is going to be the client. So new client equals string to integer because this is a string and we cannot work with strings when it comes to arrays, um, at least as far as indexing goes. And um, we declare the client and we automatically do another command which is sp receive points percent d percent d which is going to be the client and the points from this client so if we go back to the second plugin again and we check this command which is the one we wrote here we have two arguments because we send two arguments here the client and the points from that client we receive those um, arguments here the client and the points string to int string to int and then we print to the server this but you don't necessarily have to do this you can have like the same variable here if you want um, array points otherwise it's going to have an error and you can do something like s simple like a points client equal points and you can work with this guys you can and let me compile this to show you it works as you can see guys we get no errors whatsoever both compilations are correct um, so yeah you can go ahead and try this out it is very useful trust me um, it is very useful I use this a lot when I cannot communicate to plugins directly so if you did enjoy this if it did work for you if you find it very useful please rate the video up it helps a lot um, also leave a comment if you have any questions next week we're going to do something cool which is um, enums um so yeah i don't want to give anything away so wait till next week stay tuned this is man with comics gaming i'll see you in the next one